quantum physics. What is quantum physics? Quantum physics is the study of matter and energy at the most fundamental level. It aims to uncover the properties and behaviors of the very building blocks of nature. Put simply, it's the physics that explains how everything works. Quantum discoveries have been incorporated into our foundational understanding of materials in the science of chemistry, biology, and astronomy. While many quantum experiments examine very small objects such as electrons and photons, quantum phenomena are all around us, acting on every scale. Origin of Quantum Physics The history of quantum physics is a fundamental part of the history of modern physics. German physics Max Planck publishes his groundbreaking study of the effect of the radiation on a black body substance and the quantum theory of modern physics is born. He is the father of quantum physics. Through physical experiments, Planck demonstrated that energy in certain situations can exhibit characteristics of physical matter. Planck's theory held that the radiant energy is made up of particle-like components known as quanta. The theory helped to resolve previously unexplained natural phenomena, such as the behavior of heat in solids and the nature of light absorption on an atomic level. In 1918, the Planck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on blackbody radiation. By the way, there are four central concepts helped to establish the foundations of quantum physics. 1. Wave particle duality 2. Superposition 3. Uncertainty principle 4. Entanglement First, now, let's talk about wave-particle duality. To understand the wave-particle duality concept, we have followed the double-slit experiment. This type of experiment was first performed by Thomas Young in 1802 as a demonstration of the wave behavior of visible light. This experiment with light was part of the classical physics. In 1927, Davison and German demonstrated that electrons show the same behavior which was later extended to atoms and molecules. First, imagine sand falls through two vertical slits. When sand passes through only one slit, a single line of sand is displayed. When sand passes through both slits, the resulting pattern is shown as the two lines of sand with the impressions of the slit. Now, Let's imagine a water wave. As the water wave passes through both slits, it essentially splits into two new waves. It's spreading out from one of the slits. These two waves then interfere with each other, but at some point, where a peak meets a true, they will cancel each other out. The result illustrates that interference is taking place between the waves and particles going through the slits we can observe an interference pattern from that. Now, let's go into the quantum realm. Imagine firing electrons at our walls with the two slits, but block one of those slits off for the moment. You'll find that some of the electrons will pass through the open slit and strike the second ball, just as the sand did. The spots they arrive at form a strip roughly the same shape as the slit. Now, open the second slit. You would expect two rectangular strips on the second ball as with the sand. But what you actually see is very different. The spots where electrons hit build up to replicate the interference pattern from a wave. How can this be? One possibility might be that the electrons somehow interfere with each other, so they don't arrive in the same places they would if they were alone. However, the interference pattern remains even when we are firing the electrons one by one, so that they have no chance of interfering. Strangely, each individual electron contributes one dot to an overall pattern that looks like the interference pattern of a bear. To find out, you might place a detector by the slate to see which slate and electrons passes through. And that's the really weird bit. If you do that, then the pattern of the detected screen turns into the particle pattern on two strips. The interference pattern disappears. Somehow, the very act 
of looking make sure that the electrons travel like light. It's as if they knew they were being spied on and decided caught in the act of performing word quantum shanginess. Now let's talk about superposition. Superposition is the ability of a quantum system to be in multiple states at the same time until it is measured. This thought experiment was devised by physics Erwin Schrödinger in 1935. The cat state, named after Schrödinger's cat, is a quantum state or composed of two geometrically opposed conditions at the same time, such as the possibilities that a cat is alive and dead at the same time. Schrödinger's cat, a cat, a flask of poison, and a radioactive source are placed in a sealed box. If an internal monitor detects the radioactivity, the flask is shattered, releasing the poison which kills the cat. The Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics implies that after a while the cat is simultaneously alive and dead. Yet, when one looks in the box, one sees the cat either alive or dead, but not both alive and dead. This poses the question of when exactly quantum superposition ends and reality resolves into one possibility or the other. When an electron is in superposition, its different states can be thought of as separate outcomes, each with a particular probability of being observed. For an example, when we solve x by 2, which gives the answer for x can either be 2 or minus 2. Both answers are correct. Superposed wave functions will be more complicated to solve, but they can be approached with the same mindset. 3. Uncertainty Principle In 1927, Werner Heisenberg introduced the concept of inherent uncertainty with the simultaneous knowledge of the position of a particle and its momentum. This concept is a foundational accept of quantum mechanics and is called Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. What is Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle? It says that we cannot measure the position and the momentum of the particle simultaneously. The more accurately we know one value, the less accurately we know the other. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that the more accurately we know a particle's position, the less accurately we can know its momentum. Both the position and the momentum of a particle cannot be determined precisely at a given time. But mathematically, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is lower bound on the product of uncertainties of a pair of conjugate variables. The most well-known expression take the position and momentum to be conjugate variables. Now let's talk about the fourth point, which is entanglement. Entanglement is at the heart of quantum physics and future quantum technologies, like other aspects of quantum science. The phenomenon of entanglement reveals itself at very tiny subatomic scales, where two particles such as a pair of photons or electrons become entangled. They remain connected even when separated by worse distance, in at the same way that the ballet or tango emerges from individual dances. Entanglement arises from the connection between particles. It is what scientists call an emergent property. When resistance study entanglement, they often use a special kind of crystal to generate two angled particles from one. The entangled particles are then sent off to different locations. For this example, let's say that the researchers want to measure the direction the particles are spinning, which can be either up or down along a given axis. Before the particles are measured, each will be in a state of superposition or both spin up and spin down at the same time. If the researcher measures the direction of one particle spin and then repeats the measurement of its distant entangled partner, that researcher will always find that the pair are correlated. If one particle spin is up, the others will be down. Returning to our dancer metaphor, this would be like observing one dancer and finding them in parade, and then automatically knowing the other dancer must also be performing in a parade. The beauty of entanglement is that just knowing the state of one particle automatically 
tells you something about his companion even when they are far apart. Let's say you have two entangled balls each in its own balls. In this metaphor, the balls can be either yellow or red ones observed. For now, they are in the state of superposition, or both yellow and red at the same time. Until you observe the ball, if the first ball is yellow, the other will be yellow. If the first one is red, the other will be red. The objects remain connected even over the vast distance. Scientists think of entangled objects as really being a single object. But what if one observer decided to look at their ball from a different angle or side of the ball? The balls would revert back to the state of superpositions and have the 50% chance of being yellow or 50% chance of being red. Now, if the second observer also looks at their balls from the side view, it will match with the first observer so the balls are still entangled. But what the viewer sees depends on how they look at the ball. This is because the entangled information about color does not lie within any one ball but exists in the connection between the balls. Entanglement can also occur among hundreds, millions and even more particles. When the phenomenon is thought to take place throughout the nature, among the atoms and molecules in living species and within metals and other materials. When hundreds of particles become entangled, they still act as one unified object, like a flow of blood. The particles become the whole entity into itself without being in direct contact with one another. Applications of quantum physics in everyday life Quantum theory is used in many ways in everyday life. 1. Toaster The heating element of the toaster glows red to toast a slice of bread. Toasters are generally referred to as the reason why quantum physics came into existence. 2. Computer and mobile phone The basic element inside a computer is known as a transistor, which utilizes the basic electronic properties of silicon, which is a semiconductor, and the theory of solid-state physics is based on the foundation of the quantum mechanics. 3. Microscopy Quantum physics in association and electron microscopy have improved the imaging of biological samples. Moreover, in differential interference contrast, microscopy, a pattern of interference is created by the beam of photons, which is then analyzed. 4. Global Positioning System GPS. GPS or Global Positioning System is a network of satellites that has made finding locations and directions quite easy. Its satellites in the GPS constellation includes an assemble of atomic clocks, and this atomic clocks is the principle of quantum theory to measure the time. Physics are exploring the potential of quantum science to transform our view of gravity and its connection to space and time. Quantum science may even reveal how everything in the universe or in multiple universes is connected to everything else through higher dimensions that our senses cannot comprehend. The field of quantum science may seem mysterious or illogical, but it describes everything around us, whether we realize it or not. Harnessing the power of quantum physics gives rise to new technologies both for applications we use today and for those that may be available in the future.